so today our topic is comment line arguments so what is comment line argument we know that the most important function of c is our main function so what is the return type of main function it is integer and what there is no parameter so we can also give command line arguments in c means what the arguments that we pass on to main at the command prompt so command line argument means these arguments are passed on to main but at the time of command prompt if any input value is passed through command prompt at the time of running of program is known as command line argument so we pass argument to the main from the command prompt at the time of running that input value is called command line argument in order to implement command line argument generally two parameters are passed into the main function first is how many number of command line arguments are there second is the list of command line arguments we will learn this thing in detail so what is the syntax syntax is you have to write int main and there are some parameters parameters are first you have to write int argc argc counts the number of arguments on the command line and another parameter is character star argv argv it is basically an array of character pointer which we use to list all the command line arguments we will learn this thing in detail with an example then it will be more clear now we see how command line argument will work first see i write one program int main then i am passing the parameter int argc character star argv so what is argc argc counts the number of arguments on the command line so if i want to print how many number of arguments i already sent then you have to write total number of arguments percentage d argc means it will print the value of argc now if i want to print the arguments means the argument list then i start one for loop for 0 to it is less because we start from 0 so it is from 0 to less than argc and then print the value of print the value of each parameter so you have to write argv i first argv 0 it prints first argv 0 then argv 1 then argv 2 means how many number of arguments are there it will print so see the code so this is our code so it is argc i am passing the parameter in argc and character star argv now i am printing the value of argc now there is one for loop it starts from 0 to argc and less than argc and i am printing the value of the parameter now you have to save this file save file as save you just just save the file okay after that just you have to open it you have to open command from to run run this file and send the arguments okay you have to send the argument from the command from in main so first here type of search you have to write run see a small window comes here you have to write cmd then command prompt will open here now see where is my file is this file this command line dot c file is already saved where you have to see the path total path where you have to copy that total path here see my file is saved here this is uh, this is my file command line dot c so where it is it is in uh, e colon then presentation c presentation etc so this is the total path so first you have to go to the e colon have to write now copy this path
paste it here okay so you have to go to this path now you have to run your program so i am going to this path and i am going to this directory total path now i have to run this program command line dot c so just write the program name it is see the program name it is command line dot c so write command line then say i am passing this is our program name so this is our first parameter and second is say i am passing the value 20 and 30 okay so the first parameter is comment line second is 20 and third is 30 so how many arguments are there 1 2 3 1 is program name second is uh, what second is value and third is third is another value so three arguments are there okay so axi value is 3 now i have to print the arguments value now place one enter see total number of arguments are three zeroth argument is command line first argument is 20 and second argument is 30 in this way i can pass our required value input value to the program at the time of run from the command prompt in this way command line argument works now we have to revise the whole thing again so how to run cmd program first you have to go to that directory where you save your c file okay so i am going to that directory and i save my c file to this directory to this path and then you have to write program name then the required input value which you want to pass to the main function okay so my program name is command line here command line is our program file name we pass two arguments but is so three arguments why so because rc takes number of arguments in the command line including program name so one two and three so here two arguments and one program name it is command line dot exe this this file total three arguments are there so it will give total number of arguments three zeroth argument is our program name first argument is 10 and second argument is 20 take a detailed look of argc and rg in command line arguments application main function will take two arguments first is argc that is argument count argc is an integer type variable it holds total number of argument which is passed into our main function. It takes number of arguments in the command line including our program name. So if we pass a value to a program, value of axi would be 2. Why so? Because first for program name and second for argument. The value of axi is always positive. Then argv that is argument vector argv is array of character pointer listing all the arguments it holds actual arguments which is passed to main function if argc is greater than 0 the array elements from argv 0 to argv argc minus 1 will contain pointer to string so the array starts from argv 0 and argc is total number of arguments so it is argc minus 1 because we start from 0 so array is argv0 to argv that is argc minus 1 index is argc minus 1 will contain pointer to string. argv0 is the name of the program okay and from argv1 to argv argc minus 1 every element is command line argument. Now properties of command line argument. They are passed to main function. They are parameters or arguments supplied to the program when it is invoked. They are used to control program from outside instead of hard coding those values inside the code. So these parameters 
these values are passed input values are passed to the program from the outside from the command prompt so argv0 holds the name of the program argv1 points to the first command line argument and argvn points to the last argument so when we can use command line argument means when it is required when you need to developing an application for dos operating system or with the help of command line arguments we can create our own commands and using command we execute our program easily now these are your homework try to solve this problem pause your video try to solve this problem and answer me in the comment section what is the output of this program answer me in the comment section what is the output of this program i am waiting for your reply for getting more and more updates please please subscribe my channel that's all for today thank you